Good day everyone, welcome back to Clean Cut EDC. Today we are talking about a monster, an absolute beast of a Damascus knife, the Pickled Steel Conqueror. Look at this thing, this thing is absolutely insane. And guess what? VG10 blade steel on this knife. Actually functional blade steel, right? Um, that's the exact same steel as I get on my Spider Go Delica. So it's a highly functional steel, it's something that has been tested, you know, the, this Delica by me has been through heavy times and still basically no scratches on the blade still looks almost brand new and it's been it's been properly abused <laughs> so it's a good tough steel it keeps its edge for as long as you would want it and um yeah it stays razor sharp takes a good solid edge and best of all it's highly corrosion resistant so fantastic kitchen steel actually um you do with this knife get a very beautiful custom leather sheath with a belt loop and a microfiber cloth to keep everything nice and clean and then of course this gorgeous knife so 1200 rand for this damascus beauty is is not a lot of money guys uh, pickled steel actually has some fantastic fantastic variety of damascus knives that are inexpensive and still has good steel right that's the issue with damascus knives is yeah if it's cheap it's usually crap steel um, but not in this case highly functional steel takes a good edge and um, yeah it's proper proper steel it's 67 layers of vg10 with mild steel so it's got a core of vg10 right and then if i understand this correctly it's got a um, it's surrounded by mild steel for the damascus so you your edge is going to be vg10 which is fantastic look at that flipper hey though but they do very nice so um let's run this knife through right we've got a spear point blade shape such a cool design a lot of cutting edge this is a lot a lot of cutting edge let me just compare it for you guys so you have a pretty good idea what we're dealing with this is the manix xl from spider code a monster absolute monster bro it's definitely the biggest knife in my collection it's about a centimeter maybe two centimeters longer and this is the pm2 right now the pm2 is actually a bit shorter than our conqueror about a half a centimeter it's just the camera is going to fool you a bit but that's what we're dealing with right it's about the size of the pm2 so the pm2 is quite a large knife for a lot of people and this definitely is a large knife look at that in grip i can still fit another pinky on there and i've got xl size hand so this is this is a large large knife right nice cutting edge good belly um but we also do have a functional straight edge here at the at the bottom um good good sharpening choil look at that you will get a lot of life out of this knife with that sharpening choil plunge grind is fantastic done very very well super super cool basically a full flat grind except for these cutouts right here right and they do add quite a lot of flair i think without them it would still look great but they definitely add something to this knife for sure and it doesn't really take away from the functionality of the knife i have actually managed to use them sometimes for opening the blade yes okay so you can actually use them might not be the most comfortable at all times but if you want to you can so very very nice flare there on this blade now with this blade as well with this flat grind it's super super slicey i have actually found that out of the box this wasn't the sharpest knife i've gotten from pickled steel yes so it slices but uh, it's not it's not um you know as sharp as let's say something like the pickled steel gladius that is that's razor sharp right there um so the conqueror super sharp but not not razor sharp not like usual right so that's the first knife from pickled steel that i've seen that that wasn't like hair popping sharp it's still sharp it's still better than most knives you get out of the box so um there's that but it, it just it's just something to note or something that i've noticed um yes then with this blade uh, we get actually a very functional thumb ramp and some jumping very functional jumping right you can choke up nicely with that thumb ramp and uh, get some good function out of this blade highly controlled even being such a large blade it feels as if you've got a lot of control over this knife this is actually a very nice kitchen knife as well um, of course the intended purpose will be for fancy functions for display purposes and then the occasional use right but it's not necessarily created to be your user although it definitely can be right it's functional enough to to be a, a user knife um however you know i think the intended design and with the flare and the you know 
all the effort that's gone into this knife, I'd say it would be more a fancy function knife and a display knife. So deploying this knife, uh, this blade is actually highly, highly satisfying. Right? Being such a large blade, it just slams out, man. With this thumb stud, it's got a single thumb stud, so nothing on the backside. Um, I'm pretty sure you can definitely reverse that thumb stud, or you can take it off completely if you'd like. But um, yes, then we also have a flipper tab, which works amazingly well. Now the accessibility to this liner lock is super, super nicely done. Um, chamfered edges there, nothing that creates a hot spot. Highly accessible, very easy to decompress, close up this blade for that next launch. Yes, come on, man. Awesome. Um, also, we've got some cutouts here in the liners, which just create some comfort when, when using the thumb ram, but also when using the flipper tab. So it doesn't, so your finger doesn't run on the edges of the liners. All right, we've got some, I think this is rosewood scales. Might be sandalwood, but uh, very, very nice scales. And then this beautiful engraved bolster with a T8 pivot and T6 body screws. That's super nice. Love the backspacer, highly functional, provides you with some grip. Um, but yeah, super nice backspacer. No skeletonization of the liners. It's got full solid stainless steel liners, super durable. It's built very, very well. The build quality is just phenomenal on this knife. And then we've got a little lanyard tool for your lanyard, right? Not that you would necessarily need that, but um, <laughs> either way, as you prefer, right? You get that. So very nice knife, super nice action, awesome, awesome ergonomics. Um, being such a sort of a natural scale shape and no pocket clip, right? No pocket clip, this is meant to be carried in the sheath. Um, being such a natural scale shape or handle shape, it's just very comfortable in hand. Um, yeah, fills out your hand quite nicely. I think this is gonna be about if I had to guess, two and a half centimeters. No, sorry, one and a half centimeters. So very nice and thick scales, folds your hand out nicely. Um, it actually feels as if you are going to conquer something. It feels super solid, very, very nice. I like the engraved bolster because it, it just resists some wear marks and keeps the knife looking in pristine condition for longer. I love the pattern on this blade. Man, it's, it's stunning. It's just perfect. Let's do a weight test because this is quite heavy. Being such a large knife with no weight docking, um, you can imagine that this is going to be probably, yes, yeah, so 5.6 ounces. Let's get that back to grams, 161 grams. So not going to be that pocket friendly, right? Which is probably why it doesn't have a pocket clip. On your belt, however, it's not going to be that heavy, right? Um, this knife made to be carried occasionally for that fancy situation that fancy function you're going to attend that event right it's going to be a conversation starter it's going to be something interesting something different um you whip out this thing at a bright people are going to lose their minds it's just insane it's so so freaking beautiful man it's just perfect very very nice knife the weight a little high for edc use but perfectly fine for what it was intended for right okay guys that's going to be our pickle steel conqueror and uh, yes, I definitely recommend this knife for the price. I think you can't get something better. I don't even know of a, you know, a basic knife. And I'm now I'm talking just a regular steel knife with VG10. I don't know if you can actually get a knife like a knife for 1,200 rands um, with VG10. Um, I haven't heard of one. Maybe you guys know. Let me know in the comment section. Um, but yes, as for for now, I think this is just best value for money when it comes to the the um, Damascus range of pickled steel. This is gonna be probably the best value for money knife that you can buy. Awesome guys, have a fantastic day. Have a knife day. And remember that no knife means no life. <laughs>